Well, I can't remember much. It all started when I was 18, I think, when I found out I have epilepsy. Go on. I remember being told that epilepsy can be hereditary or acquired. The acquired kind can be caused by trauma, a tumor, or an injury. Mine is hereditary, though, which means I was born with it. It's in my genes. Up until I found out about it, I could be chilling with friends, having a drink, and suddenly feeling like I'm not really there, kinda spaced out. My friend said I would tick. I only found out later that I was seizing, and that type of seizure is called a petit mal, a small seizure. Yesterday was different, though. Alcohol, party, tons of sounds and lights. I was having a great time. Then, bam, a whirlwind of senses. I felt like I'd been there before. I had flashbacks, my mouth tasted like blood. I cramped, then loosened up. Apparently, I looked like a spring with all the seizing. When I came to, I was really confused and tired and didn't understand what had just happened. What you experienced yesterday is known as a grand mal, a more serious seizure than petit mal. You should be thankful that you didn't enter status epilepticus. You would have had multiple consecutive seizures for minutes on end, and you wouldn't have regained consciousness between seizures. Well, Johnny, you need to let your friends know how to identify a seizure and how to help you. Whenever you spasm, drool, lose control of your bowels or bladder, show external bruises, bite your tongue, sharply avert your gaze, and have an elevated pulse, it's extremely important your friends not limit your movements and clear away any object that might hurt you. They need to pad your head, keep your airway clear, and administer oxygen if it's available, and of course call an ambulance. Stay safe, Johnny.